Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET how to get selected grid view row in a pop-up window using jQuery. And here we got the final output on the browser after adding the jQuery script and CSS tiles. Let's get the employee details of the current get employee details. See here we got the employee details. The pop-up window is open at the center of the browser. Employee ID 20. The employee name is Karan. Karan at Gmail and the salary is 1300. Let's open the another employee. It's a Ben. See here we got the Ben ID is 22. Ben email and salary is 1250. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET project. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I am choosing ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework is 4.6.1. The application name is Grid View Selected Row. jQuery. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm choosing empty. Click OK. And the project is successfully created. Open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding one web form page. Right click the project name. Add. New item. I'm choosing web form. grid view pop-up is a web page name click add and here we got the source page of the grid view pop-up dot ASPX page now in the source page I am adding one grid view control between the form tag open toolbox grid view let's put this grid view control between the center Now I want to bind the table from the database using the SQL data source to this grid view control. So highlight the grid view control, switch to the design mode and notice there is a small button at the top of the right side. Click that one. It's a grid view task. I'm choosing the data source, new data source and the data source type is SQL database. Click OK. I'm creating a new connection. I'm adding my SQL server name. After adding the server name, I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB. Test connection. It succeeded. OK. OK. And here is the connection string. Click Next. And I want to save this connection string in the web.config file next now I'm selecting the table from the sample DB database for this demo purpose I'm using employee table click next test query and here we got the results in a preview click finish now let's check the output the table is binded to the grid view control or not Google Chrome and here we got the final output of that code the table is bounded to the grid view control now my task is I will add a new column to this grid view control with a button click controls when a user click the button of a particular row in a grid view control I want to display that employee details in a pop-up window so I'm using the jQuery functionality Let's switch back to the coding part. We'll write the script. Stop debugging. Switch to the source mode. To add a new column in this grid view control, we need to add a template field between the columns. ASP dot template field. Now I need the 
item template here I'm adding a button control go to toolbox button control I'm changing the text button value to get employee details and I'm changing the ID button EMP display let's check the output is the button control is added to the grid view control or not I'm rerunning the browser link and here we got the output with the button controls we have finished the first step now the second step is when I click particular button control I want to display of the employee details in a pop-up window let's finish the rest of the code let's add the jquery script between the header section script dollar function dollar between double quotes square brackets id star is equals to i am adding the button id dot click function I'm declaring a variable grid view row is equals to dollar this dot closest method between double quotes I'm adding tr when we render this grid view it will display in the table format so I'm adding a table row zero dot row index property. This row index property it selects a particular row of the table. So once we selected a row in a grid view, I want to pop up a window. So for that I'm using window dot open method. Notice the first parameter takes the string URL. So I'm here I'm adding display.aspx question mark. I'm selecting a particular row in a grid view control. So I'm adding the row index property. Row index is equals to plus I'm adding this variable grid view row. the second one is the string target here I'm adding pop-up comma the third parameter is the string features which is nothing but the, the pop-up window height width the scroll bars etc the height is equals to 150 comma width is equals to 180 comma resizable is equals to no comma scroll bars is equals to s comma toolbar is equals to s comma I don't want to display the menu of the pop-up window menu is equals to no semicolon here we need to close this now let's create this page display.aspx open solution explorer right click the grid view project name add new item the web form which is a display.aspx page add now here I'm adding center tag H1 employee details horizontal line employee ID column I'm adding a span tag to display the employee details span ID is equals to EMP ID 
break employee name let's copy this EMP name the third column is email and the fourth one is salary employee email email and employee salary which is a salary now to pass the details from this grid view popup dot ASPX page to display here again I'm adding a jQuery script script dollar function if window dot open is not equals to now variable grid view details is equals to window dot location dot href dot split method between double quotes I'm adding the question mark one dot split between double quotes is equals to one variable var is equals to dollar window dot opener dot document dot contents method and the last variable variable row is equals to I need to find the control of this page grid view pop up here dot find method between double quotes between square brackets id star is equals to i'm adding the grid view id which is a grid view one dot find method between double quotes tr table row dot uq method i'm adding the grid view details this EQ method takes the integer value so here we are getting the details on the basis of the employee ID dollar between double quotes I am adding the span ID of EMP ID we need to add the hash symbol because it's the IDs dot HTML row dot find between double quotes I'm finding the table column so TD is a table column dot EQ which takes the integer value the first column is a zero dot HTML method semicolon let's copy this the second column is a EMP name ID one let's copy this the third one is the span ID email the column number is a two and the last column which is a salary td3 that's it we have done the complete coding part but to run this but to run this jquery script properly on the browser we need to add the latest jquery cdn link for that let's open google.com latest jquery cdn google 
and from the such results I am choosing the hosted libraries from the Google hosted libraries the right side in the contents notice there is a jQuery option click that one here we got the three snippets I am choosing the the latest version 3.3.1 copy that one and pasting after the title and also I need to add this latest jQuery CDN link in the grid view pop-up also friends here the method is a CLO SCST closest method now let's check the output on the browser Google Chrome and here we got the output I'm selecting the name mark get employee details see here we got the pop-up window we got the details of the employee mark and my next task is when I click the button control the pop-up is opening at the corner of the top left side but I want to open this pop-up window at the center of this browser as well as I need to adjust the height and width also let's close this switch to the coding part and stop debugging height width left is equals to 500 and top is equals to 300 and I'm increasing the width is 500 and the height is 450 400 let's make it 400 and also I want to display some styles in the pop-up window after the script I'm adding style now between this style tag I'm creating a class pop-up win background color I want to display in a black color color white width 250 pixels top 25% padding 30 pixels I'm adding padding left also 20 pixels that's it let's add this class I'm adding a div container class is equals to pop-up pen this class that's it grid view pop-up dot spx I'm rerunning the browser link and here we got the final output on the browser after adding the jQuery script and CSS styles let's get the employee details of the current get employee details see here we got the employee details the pop-up window is open at the center of the browser employee ID 20 the employee name is Karan current at gmail and the salary is 1300 let's open the another employee is a ben see here we got the ben id is 22 ben email and salary is 1250 that's it